Good evening folks and welcome to day 15 of the beer advent calendar. Uh, if anybody has been following me, basically it's a typical advent calendar, but instead of the chocolate behind every door is a German beer. Now you can get other versions, I think there is a Belgium version and whatnot. However, this one is specifically German beers. Um, I know what beers are in the box, they're labeled on the side, however I don't know which beer I'm getting which day. Other than knowing that it's going to be a German beer. So, had a few Hells, a few Marzins, uh, I think I had one Pilsner, and a couple of different wheat, wheat beers. So, today we're at day 15. I'm pretty sure we're at day 15. I just, today, yeah, December 15th. So day 15 is right here. These numbers are kind of hard to read. I'll take it out. Lay it there, and you'll get a chance to see it before I do. I'll zoom in so you can see the label, get an idea of what I'm drinking, then I'll do it. And uh, Whatever style it is, we'll talk a little bit about it as much as I can get out of it. So there you go. Now these are mostly from small breweries in Germany. They normally don't can their beers, however they do for the advent calendar. So you're probably not going to get these beers outside of Germany, or definitely not outside of Europe. So, and it's a Hell beer, which is Hell or Hells, it's a style of beer, similar to a Pilsner. Um, the word Hell, I believe the translation is pale or bright, so it's a light color beer. Um, they say Edel Bauer, so I'm assuming that's a brewery. And just give the ingredients 4.6% alcohol. Now the box has a little bit of information. They have, if I can find it here, yeah. Edel Bauer, your cup Hells, and then it says Hells beer, and 4.6. So not more, not much more information other than that. Um, there is an app I've been using. Basically, the app is Beer Tasting App, and you take a picture of the beer. They'll check their database and give you a little bit of information on it. So we'll try that, see what they're going to tell us, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so the information they're going to give me, it's a bottom fermented beer, that just means it's a lager, not an ale. They give the alcoholic content. And then they say, the design reveals it, this beer comes from Bavaria, a specialty from the house of E G E R E R Geert Gewer, which I believe is the brewery because I've seen that name before, is balanced and tasty with a good and surprisingly high amount of aromic, 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 and bitter hops. It gives the beer a bittersweet character. The color is golden yellow, which is typical for hells, with a fine white foam crown. To quote the brewmaster, it's like sunshine. I'm just going to check their beer of the day. Yeah. A little bit more information. Let's see what these guys are going to give us. Uh, it says the blue and white pattern on the can are inspired by the Bavarian flag, which is associated with the royal Bavarian family named Wittelbach, which ruled from ruled Bavaria from 1180 to 1918. The squares on the can are not defined in number, but they must be at least 21, while the top left has to be inc incomplete and white. Not sure what's this all about. It says Claire Golan with a large white head, multi nose, very multi, not too hoppy, sweet, slightly grainy with a touch of vanilla, honey and sweet corn, balanced off with a good and surprisingly high amount of aromatic, aromatic and bitter hops, which gives the beer a bittersweet character. And that's about it for the app. Um, I got cue cards which I've been using, however, the Hell's Beer, I've had probably three or four times. I've read the cue cards each time. So other than that, I'm going to check. This is basically the Beer Bible. It's the Oxford and Companion of Beer. So they have a page here on Hell's. So I'm not going to read the first thing, but basically I'll read the first paragraph. And I do get another Hell's, which I definitely have at least one more Hell's in the can. Actually, let's see. I have two more Hell's, so hopefully eventually I'll get through the whole thing. Alright, so the first paragraph basically says, Hells is a golden pale lager that is everyday session beer of Bavaria, Germany. The German word Hell or Hell simply means pale. 
German-speaking regions, ordering in the hills or a un beer bit in a pub would simply produce a standard lake color beer on tap, which is, more often than not, a pils or a pilsner. But in Bavaria, style definitions are more differentiated. There, the order of un beer bit will most likely be followed by the probing question, in which beer do you want? A Bavarian hills is considered low in bitterness in a German pils. It is lighter in body and character than a Marzen. Hells is a medium body, usually straw blonde beer with an emphasis on clean, bready malt flavors and floral hop aromas with mild bitterness. In Bavaria, many consider Hells a very essence of summer beer garden. The beer has a slightly sulfurous character, reminiscent of brewery fermentation rooms. It typically has the original gravity of 11 to 12.5 degrees Play Doh and 4.7 to 5.3 alcohol by volume. Like I said, there's more to it, but. That's all I'm going to read for them, and they 4.6, so what they say? Uh, 4.7 to 5.3, so this is 0.1% lighter than a traditional Hell's. Alright, so I'm going to give my glass a quick cold water rinse, and then we'll pour it up. And I'm using my Pilsner glass. This is kind of like the wheat glass that I've had, except for there's, the wheat glass had much more curves, and this is a lot smaller. Tall and narrow, and basically that's to show off the color and the carbonization of the beer. Um, previously, back in the day, before glass was popular, you know, mostly it was in a ceramic style or earthenware, so you couldn't actually see it. So when glass became popular, that was a big thing. People actually could finally actually see the beer as they were drinking it. And that was, you know, a big thing was, you know, the, the clearness, the color type thing. So, there you go. Now I'm normally, I like, you know, lighter beers, my Pilsners, stuff like that, so. Chances are I'm going to enjoy it. Probably not pouring it the best. I'm not paying attention. Now I'm going to have a whole lot of head. Normally when you're pouring a beer, I mean, you want it at a 45 degree angle. You pour it in. When you get about half full, you want to upgrade it. And if you're not paying attention, this is pretty well what happens. You have a whole bunch of head. I'm going to let that settle for a little second. Um, not a lot of aroma. It's definitely your typical lager aroma. Um, pretty similar to, you know, to for North American our macro breweries, your Labatt's, your Coors, uh, your Miller's, your Blues type of thing. Nothing, you know, out of the ordinary there. I'm going to take a swig, try to get past some of the foam. <clears throat> um, I'm pretty sure they said normally a Hell's is a little bit more full-bodied than a Pilsner, but not as full-bodied as a Marison. That's pretty well what I'm get, getting out of this. It's kind of like a a Pilsner, or I hate to say it, one of our typical macro brews with a little bit of more oomph to it. If that makes any sense. A little bit more flavor. Um, I find, since I've started doing these brews, um, reviews, I'm exposing myself to more brews, so I appreciate the flavor a little bit more, and I find what we're used to in North America, after you get you know used to other beers, you'll find the North American beers are pretty well low when it comes to flavor. For the most part, they're easy drinking and everything else, but there's not there's not a lot to it. As opposed to, you know, if you go to look at your Belgian beers, I find Belgian beers specifically have a lot of flavor to it. They do a lot of fruit beers and whatnot. And also, you know, you go to your typical beer producing countries, Germany, uh, Czechoslovakia, uh, Britain type of thing, their beers, or I find anyways they have a little bit more flavor than what we're used to in North America. Oh, pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the uh, best beer I've ever had but by far not the worst beer. I'm enjoying it for sure. Now my ratings out of five, as per usual, with one being a drain pour, 
basically means don't like it, can't finish it, going down the drain. Doesn't happen very often. A two being not a fan, but I'll finish it just because I don't want to waste a beer. That happens a little bit more. A three is a good beer. A th for me, a three is your average beer. It's a good beer. I'm enjoying it, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. A four being a very good beer, and a five being the best beer I've ever had. And with that being said, I don't. I've never had a five, and I'm probably gonna be one of those uh, teachers who never gives a hundred. You know, I'll probably give a four point five, but for me to get a five, it'd be you know, I'm I'm done. I think if I ever get a five, uh, whatever beer it is, I think I'll be sticking with that beer. Um, I'm enjoying this actually quite a bit more than I um, thought I would be. One of the reasons is, um, for somebody who does beer reviews, I'm not a heavy drinker. Like for me, I do these reviews normally once a week. So a lot of times that's the only beer I'll have in the week. Or I might have another one, but not a lot. But I'm not an everyday drinker. And doing the beer calendar now here for... 15 days, that's 15 days of having a beer, so I'm kind of not getting tired of beer, but you know, it's, I'm not used to having a beer every day. So, I'm getting to the point it's kind of like, uh, I can't wait to try the beer, but at the same point it's like, oh. So, I'm actually enjoying this one more than I thought it would. Sorry for the noise, folks. Phone's going off there. Um, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying it. I'd go as far as to say it's a very good beer, and with, so a very good beer for me would be a 4.0. Um, it's a strong 4.02. It's not quite a 4.5, and I don't give any other fractions other than a half, so if I did, maybe it would be a little bit higher than a 4, but it's definitely not a 4.5. So I think for the Ert, Ert up Hell Adele Bauer, which I believe is named the brewery, I think I'm comfortable giving it a four, which means it's a very good beer. If you get a chance to pick one up, by all means, grab it. Just remember the uh, blue and white checkers. So there you go, folks. That's my uh, rating for day 15. Hopefully you can join me tomorrow when we uh, check one more beer off the box. Until next beer, as always, enjoy responsibly. Cheers.